are at Dollar General. Um, if you can see the title of this video, we are doing a dollar store makeup challenge. So we're gonna get everything for my face um, for the from the dollar store um, makeup wise. So we're gonna be getting like all sorts of stuff and we will vlog in there. This is why my face looks like this because um, I don't have any makeup on, so. Okay guys, so we are back home now. Delaney and I went to Dollar General, which is, I realized when we got there, um, I had forgotten this, but Dollar General is not an actual dollar store, so not everything is a dollar. Um, so some things were like more than four, more than a dollar, but everything was under five dollars. So, um, I'm just gonna tell you approximately how much we spent on each item, and then I will show you what we got, and then I will put it on my face. So, starting with the foundation, we got this LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation, long wearing pigment, high pigment foundation. This um, was the porcelain color, which is approximately, should be correct. So next we got this LA Colors Nude Eyeshadow. Um, it's got the four colors. That one's really pretty, so we'll see. I don't normally wear eyeshadow, but we will do it anyway. So this one was a dollar, and then this one was three dollars. Um, I think this was probably the most expensive thing that we bought besides the wipes. Um, so the next thing that we got was this eyebrow pencil. Um, we got this, it's also from LA Colors, and it says automatic brow and pencil spoolie. And spoolie. Um, so I think this is just like a regular brown color. I think they really only had one or two colors. So I just got dark. Um, next we got, again, this LA Colors. Almost everything we got from us from LA Colors. Um, this was, I think there are two different types of blush, but we're going to use this one as bronzer. Next we got, again, LA Colors lip color. Um, this was, this one is called Petal. Um, this was a dollar. This one was like, I think a dollar fifty. This one was also a dollar. Um, this mascara was a dollar. It's from LA Colors as well. It says Dramatic Lash, um, Volume Mascara. So that one was a dollar. And this one, I think was a different brand. Uh, I'm pretty sure the brand is Circa because it doesn't say anything else on it, but this is concealer. This is the only color concealer we could find that was cheap, so yeah. Um, it says full coverage concealer, studio edit, medium. That's going to be way too dark for me, but that's okay. Um, we also decided to get some LA Colors Dramatic Lash um, Fake Eyelashes. I guess it comes with... I don't know if that's two different sets or if they're the same thing. I think they're the same thing, but I don't know. Um, I never wear I um, fake lashes, but I decided. Oops, I decided to get some um, just because they were cheap, and I just for the purpose of this video. Um, I also, since this eyelash set did not come with glue, I had to get some eyelash glue. Believe this was also a dollar. Um, so it just kind of shows you how to put it on. And it does not come with like an applicator thing, so I just have to use tweezers. And then, so that was also a dollar. Um, I also got these, I keep throwing everything. Um, I also got these um, two brushes. So I got a foundation brush, which I actually have these brushes. They're pretty similar to the ones that I have, um, at least the top half of it. Um, the bottom is like slanted, so that's a little different, but it says Believe Beauty, and this was like $3. And this is a foundation brush. And then this one we got for the found or for um, blush. And so this one was, I think, $2. And it's just Wet n Wild brand. Lastly, we got this Believe Beauty Charcoal Infused Makeup Removing Wipes. This was like $4. I think the most expensive thing that we got. Um, but I decided to get those because I didn't have any, so. Now we're going to um, put on my makeup and we're actually going out tonight. Um, so 
I will be wearing my full face of dollar store makeup um, to go out tonight. Okay, so we forgot to buy moisturizer, um, so I just put on um, just some regular moisturizer that I already had. Taking the wrapper off of this, and it looks super dark. Like, this is the color that my mom would probably use. It's just super dark, and I'm not dark, so that's gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That's not even close to my skin tone. That looks like I'm drawing an orange crayon on my face. What? Oh my gosh. Guys, this is going to be super interesting. Oh, wow. Hopefully the foundation will cover this up because like, look at that. Th this looks like a contour stick. This is concealer though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were making sure that it wasn't um, a contour stick when we were buying it because there was a few of those next to this. It feels really gross. Like it just feels like very thick and it feels, it does feel like you're kind of drawing on your face with a crayon. It smells really gross too. Oh, ew. It, it smells bad. It smells really chemically. And it's kind of like coming apart like that too. This is, this is so bad. Yeah. There's a clump there. It literally comes off like in big chunks like that. That's really, I don't think this is gonna even blend out. This is so gross. All right, I'm gonna try and like blend it around as much as possible. And then I'll just put the foundation on top of it. I'm very glad that I did this before the foundation. I think, yeah, we got the porcelain foundation and it looks super light anyway. So maybe this is gonna darken it up a little. Oh my, look at that. It doesn't even blend in. It's literally like just sits in a spot on your face, which I mean, maybe if that's your normal skin color, but like this is not my normal skin color. <laughs> this is so terrible. I think it's time to move on to the foundation. I don't think this is gonna get any better. Okay, so. Now we're gonna move on to this foundation. Hopefully this terrible, awful concealer um, will be gone off my face or something. Okay, so it's just like one of the little squirt bottle type ones. Okay, so it kind of is like the consistency of like um, moisturizer kind of. Oh, it's very creamy. I was just trying to feel it, but it's, oh, it's really creamy. It's weird. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the foundation brush. Let me take the sticky thing off. Okay, well, if nothing else, I got some foundation brush and a powder brush, so. Okay, so this so far does not look like it's, well, it might be my skin color. We'll see. So this Anything's is what it looks like on the concealer. It's, it's better than the concealer, so we'll, Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. It's probably just going to be super light. Okay. It's well, covering it, it's covering the the concealer pretty well. I would say. Okay. So it's covering the concealer pretty well actually. It feels very light on my face. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Kind of I've kind of surprised about this foundation actually it seems like because that's a pretty dark concealer to be covering up but like you can't see it at all i'm gonna just blend it down to my neck so it doesn't so i'm not looking like a clown oh yeah it's definitely covering up that concealer pretty well okay so i can definitely see some orange patches on this side I don't know if you can see that like right there, but it's not the best. I think I need some more foundation on my hand. I gotta add some more because it, it goes like you, I added a lot on my hand and that's, I mean, that's just part of the sides of my face I used up already. So that's, it uses up a lot of foundation just putting it on your face. Okay, so for the most part, 
I think that is my, I'll just let me finish blending this out, but then that's going to be my foundation. So it's kind of, uh, not the best foundation ever, but I mean, it covers stuff for the most part. I mean, you can see pimples and it's very white. It's very, very pale. So we're going to need to add some color and let me just blend down my neck. So at least I look super pale all the way around. I usually do my blush and my bronzer next, so I'm gonna do that, I guess. And it'll be interesting because this is not, like I said, it's not bronzer, it's blush also, so hopefully it's not super light. Okay, so it comes with this little brush. Um, I think I'm gonna use that with the, for the bronzer. Um, it's like super, super light. So hopefully we'll see what happens. I think that I'm gonna use this as the bronzer brush. Okay, I will blend this out in a minute. There's not too much that I can do with this brush, but this is what it looks like so far. It's not terrible. It's not the best, but it kind of goes with the theme of like crappy dollar store makeup. Okay, so next we're gonna just move on to the blush. Um, this brush is super soft and super cute. So I'm actually super glad this was like $2 um, and that I got it because I have been needing some new brushes. I'm gonna just use this as the blush brush. The only problem is that the top of the brush is already pink, so I cannot see how much I'm actually putting on the brush because it literally looks the same. That's a lot. It's probably a lot, but that's okay. Oh, wow. Hmm. See, but this side has none now. This side has a lot. Okay. So now I'm gonna try and use this sponge, just kinda like blend that a little bit. Okay, um, I'm also gonna use the foundation brush to kind of tone the color back a little so it's not as terrible. It's not so bad when you blend it out a little. It's not too, too bad. I'm gonna move on to my eyeshadow and they have these little brushes, so I'm gonna start with that little brush just to do um, some of the lighter color on the whole eyelid, and then I'll probably use an actual makeup brush for the rest of it. This one doesn't really have a smell at least, but it is kind of like cakey. Oof, kind of hurts. Okay. So that's what it looks like on, doesn't really have a color. So next, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna use this brush for the eyeshadow because it doesn't work super well with the um, thing they gave me. So I'm just gonna put this on my whole eyelid, the original color. Okay, so next, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these two sparkly colors. Just kind of do a little mix of this one and then this one and then just kind of pat it on my whole eye lid or most of my eyelid and then i'll use the darker color to do like a smoky eye it doesn't really like show up like i'm not really seeing any sparkle or color of any kind okay i just added a ton on there i better have some sparkle now okay so now it's quite pigmented and my whole eye, under eye is messed up now, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the other one, try and do it the same amount of sparkly, and then I will do the dark part. So I'm gonna add some of the darker color, and then just kind of do a smoky eye. Oh, I did it way too far out. Kind of looks like a Disney character now. Oh dear. 
But the problem is that this is not super dark. Like it's just kind of red. Like it's not really a dark color at all. It's just like there. Huh, that's fun. Um, okay, I'm gonna just like have a little bit of foundation on my hand so I can kind of touch that up so it doesn't look as horrible. There we go. Okay, well, it's better than it was. Yeah, it's definitely better than it was. It's not great though. I think I'm just gonna stop messing with it. Did you do the other eye? Did not do the other eye yet. So good luck to the other eye. I didn't even put it over here. It just like literally got over here by itself. What? That's like the entire, like everything that was on the brush, just like. Okay, this one's a whole lot more pigmented than this one. This is what it looks like. Not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's really not even close to the best. Maybe the eyebrows will um, fix this entire look. Or the mascara. Or the mascara, or the eyelashes, or a lipstick, or hopefully something will fix this look. Because it, it's, it's bad. It's bad. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows now, hopefully. This will fix something. So it doesn't look terrible, or at least as bad as it currently does. I'm gonna just do my eyebrows real quick um, with this eyebrow like pencil thing. It's fairly similar to something. It's square. It's not, it's like triangle. It's like rectangle. So it's like triangle type of thing, but um, it's similar to something that I already have, so I don't know. We'll see. So far, it's not showing up. You kind of have to like push down really hard. Luckily, my eyebrows are pretty decently shaped already, so it's not like I have to shape them. I think I'm gonna spoolie it and then just kind of try and fix it. It's weird. It like shows up dark, but it doesn't at the same time. I guess it looks dark on here. It's not horrible. It's Kind of ashy looking though. Let me do the other one and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so they're definitely a lot darker than I would probably normally do. And they're a lot like, they just look very thick and my eyebrows are not thick. All right, well, so the eyebrows didn't fix the, found, the face. I still look like a clown and I look very pale. I look like a very pale clown. So I'm just gonna do the mascara and then I'll do the lipstick and then we'll be done. This one kind of smells chemically too, honestly. Kind of just adds color to your lashes. It doesn't add any length, which is interesting because it says it's volume dramatic lash mascara. So not seeing any drama. So that is the lash. Not terrible, but it's not really there. It's not really like existent. And I like to have longer lash mascara because my lashes are normally really short. So this is the lipstick that I got. Um, so I'm just gonna use this compact mirror um, to put it on and then I'll show you the whole face. It's like exactly the same color as my actual lips. So this is the full face. Okay, so probably my favorite things would have to be the brushes. I don't know if I can count those, but I would say the brushes are my, my two favorite. I guess if you blend out the eyebrows with the spoolie, they're not too bad. Like they look kind of similar to what I would normally do. Um, I don't usually use an eyebrow pencil. I use a powder usually. Um, so yeah, I I would say I like the found or the eyeshadow color. It's just I don't like that it gets all over your face when you're applying it. Like normally it shouldn't go all the way over here <laughs> when you're just applying it on your eyelid. Um, the blush is not bad. I would say like the blush for being a dollar was not a bad color. It definitely 
comes out pigmented. Um, so it's not terrible. I do not like the eye, the a mascara at all. I think that it like, it doesn't show up. Like it looks like I don't have anything on, um, which I don't like. This one, this eye is not too bad. Kind of showed up a little more than this eye. Yeah, the lipstick's not bad. Like I said, it looks pretty much like my natural lip color. It's a little more shiny than I would normally do. Um, the foundation is not good. Um, it just, I mean, it definitely covers, it covers your face and it covers up any blemishes, but I just don't think, like it looks so cakey. I just don't think I would ever buy it. Again, um, I would never ever buy this kind of, this um, concealer ever again. So, yeah. Okay guys, so that was my full face of Dollar Store makeup video. Um, as I mentioned, we were going out that night. We did go to the drive-in movie. Um, that just ended up being a disaster because the car battery died twice. Um, so we had to get it jumped twice. So that was a little bit uh, crazy and hectic, but the makeup did last. Like it lasted the whole night and everything, surprisingly. Um, but so, yeah. So anyway, guys, um, I dyed my hair blonde, as you guys can see at the bottoms. Um, I got a balayage like last week, so it's blonde. It's like a grayish blonde on the bottom and just kind of a little brown on the top. Um, so yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, make sure to click the like button down below. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. My Instagram is right here and thanks guys for watching. Love you.